producer. To win today's set of morning glory <laughs> passes, uh, you have to answer this question now. So we have another one for you. What color is the chroma wall that weatherman Dan Pope stands in front of all of our weather guys? Well, email your answer right now to contest at KSL.com. We will reveal the answer and winner at the end of the show. And in some markets, it's okay. different colors. In, in this market, yeah, it tell is us. different colors. Okay, so okay. I'm not it's telling you which color. <laughs> exactly. And frankly, you could do purple if you want it. You no, can do any color. You can do any that's color. That's a TCU color. We're not going to go there, right? I, even though you're wearing I, a purple I can't even tell. has nothing to do with it. And I'm wearing my BYU blue. <laughs> there you go. Come again. on, guys. <laughs> I'll wear red tomorrow. Okay, there you go. Because <laughs> I'm working tomorrow. There you, you go. You guys are all right. I'm not. All right. <laughs> so when are we going to show this? That's coming up a little bit later. we got to give okay. people a chance. Think about half an hour. Let's do some forecasting Contest right now. Contest at KSL.com. What color right. is the chrome wall? All right. We'll figure it out. I know what color it is. You know what color it is. But you can't tell because we project whatever the color is. We put the computer on the background right there, and, uh, and you can't even see it. But if I happen to wear that particular color, this might give it away a little bit, then I'm keyed out. In other words, you see the map behind me. 43 degrees outside right now. Southeast wind is 7 miles per hour. Barometer beginning to fall a bit. That means something is changing. And I want you to know, I fixed the graphic. You, you make the mistake one time, that's a problem. You make the mistake two times, the boss is calling. So I don't make a mistake three times or I'm probably going to be out the door. 68 degrees for the high today. Beautiful day. A little bit hazy, though. Big ridge of high pressure over Utah. This is a huge one. It goes from Saskatchewan all the way south to Sonora. One little storm is going to dribble by on Sunday. The next one, this is the big one. This will be here Monday, and it's cold enough to put snow to the valley floor. So a mix of rain and snow on Monday. 33 degrees in Kansas City this morning, 31 in Chicago. We do have some rain across the East Coast, but it looks like it's dry in Florida. They should be able to launch Discovery today. That is good news. TCU versus Utah, 1.30 p.m. Kickoff time, 62, halftime, 66, and fourth quarter, 68. I am projecting, and uh, I don't care what Las Vegas says, three. Utah will win by three Point in this game. Touchdowns. No, three points. Okay, okay not touchdowns. Though that would be no, nah, no. Nah. TCU is too good for that. UNLV versus BYU noon, mostly sunny. 64 kickoff, 68 halftime, and 70 degrees fourth quarter temperature. And BYU will win this game by 20 points. So uh, that's my projection. 32 in Vernal right now, 35 in Monticello, 38 in Delta. We're projecting a high of 60 in Roosevelt, 65 in Price. It'll be 71 in Moab and 73 around Lake Powell. St. George, your high temperature 77, 86 degrees today in Mesquite. You know it's a lot hotter there because the elevation is only about 1,300 feet. So St. George is around 28, 25 to 2,800 feet. Next seven days, we do see changes, though the chances for showers will remain north. 67 in Ogden today, 62 in Evanston, and the next seven-day forecast. Two days of temperatures well above normal, 10 degrees more than normal. We change on Sunday as that weak storm moves by. Rain and snow Monday, and then uh, looks like a pretty good uh, little snowstorm coming in, in here on Wednesday. Too early to tell how much it will accumulate, but big changes next week, so enjoy this nice weather while it lasts. And enjoy the football games this weekend. Perfect.